Hi, and welcome to session three. Um, in this session, we will be working on your cultural self-assessment. So I wanted to go into what that entails. So I want you to be successful. I want you to come out of this class feeling like you've really learned something. And one of the ways to do that is um, you have an assignment. You're going to need to follow the directions. They're not suggestions, they're directions. So please make sure you follow what is asked. So you're going to be reading about a cultural group that resembles your own. Um, and then you're going to read about another cultural group which interests you. And in five, seven pages, you're gonna be comparing and contrasting the two cultural groups. Um, look at the specifics of the assignment um, and make sure that you respond to the prompts. And the other thing that I can tell you is you really need to get this on, in on time. If you're not in on time, you're going to lose five points, which means the best that you can do is a 95. And if anything else goes wrong, you're going to have problems. So really make sure you get this in on time. Now, you might ask yourself, why am I doing this assignment? This is not just busy work. The point of this class is really to get you thinking deeply about other cultures. Um, and another thing that you need to do is you really need to think about your own culture. You may think that you know your culture back and forth because it's your own. But the fact is, is that when you're teaching um, children of your own culture, you take so many things for granted. Um, and realizing the influence that culture has on yourself and on your students is really going to help in your understanding of why people react the way that they do and what is the best way to communicate with them. Um, another is to see how culture influences a person's life. So it can influence everything from food to religion to uh, what, they, what you think about authority to what you think about learning to what you think about disabilities. So the more that you understand culture and the more that you recognize culture, the more you see that it really has this influence um, and will really help you bridge uh, between families and children um, within your own culture and within other cultures. Another is to cultivate empathy and understanding. In teaching, you're going to be required to be empathetic quite a bit of the time and to be understanding. You may have people lash out on you, uh, with you, especially when you're talking about special educational issues. Um, you need to be empathetic. You need to understand where they're coming from and why they're reacting the way that they do. And you're going to have to be the bigger person in a lot of these um, situations to really sit back and analyze um, how best to reach families and children. Um, another reason is to help us think about how this will influence our relationships with family and children, which is really what this course is about. Um, it's about empathy, it's about understanding, and it's really about doing what's in the best interest of the child. Um, and that's going to require a lot of work on your part. Teaching is not just about um, getting facts across to children, but it's really about creating this partnership between the child, between the family and yourself and the school and the community at large. Now, the second part of this assignment is a presentation. And I'm gonna be asking you to do three presentations um, at the minimum throughout this course. Um, these are the big ones. Um, uh, the, the, this presentation, once again, I'm gonna ask you to follow the directions. So you're gonna create a three to five minute presentation about this on Flipgrid. You're going to be including the link on your Blackboard assignment comment section. So when you go into the assignment, you're going to see the comment section on the side. That's where you're going to list the link to your particular Flipgrid so that I don't have to search around. Because if I have to search around and I don't find it, you're not going to get credit for the assignment. So make sure you put it in there. If you have any questions about how to do that, go back to the video that I have in session one for the icebreaker and you'll see um, that in more detail. Um, the link to the assignment is on there as well, so you can just click onto that link and it will take you directly to your assignment so you don't have to flip around on, on uh, Flipgrid. So you're going to ask yourself too, why am I doing this presentation? Um, once again, this is not just busy work. There's a reason for this that I'm making you do this. And one of the reasons that I'm making you do this is I want you to think of dynamic ways to present information to children. You're an early childhood teacher. Children aren't just going to sit there and let you give them information. You need to find ways to engage people when you're talking about information. And I want you to use all these presentations as a way to engage. Um, 
So please start thinking about this as a way to get children interested about way to get me interested in what you're talking about. Um, another way is that in online classes, uh, a lot of times it, it can feel like you're all by yourself. And it can also feel that way when you're in a classroom, the door is shut. I want this to be interactive. I want you guys to learn from each other. And I'm hoping through these presentations that you'll get to see different ways of doing things and think about things a little bit differently. Um, another reason is to give you firsthand experience with the use of technology in the classroom. You will be expected to have technology in your classroom. Um, you will be expected to find different ways to reach out to families and communities. Technology is a great way to do that, especially when people are busy. And this is a little bit outside of the box using Flipgrid and using some of the other ways that we'll be using uh, technology in the classroom. So I want you to go in there feeling confident in your classroom. And this is one of the ways to get you used to doing it. So I'm ending it with this slide about learn, create, share, inspire, inspire, empower, enjoy. I want you to enjoy what goes on in this. Um, I want you to feel that you have ownership in what goes on. If you have any questions through this process, please feel free to reach out to me via email, via Zoom, um, and enjoy. Thank you so much.